What's up, everybody? It's Easy. He's Street Gaming. Bringing you another Brutal Age video. If you saw that little clip in the beginning, how to make a normal hero into a into a world beater, I, I can't really believe what I've been watching. I, I watched a bunch, went through a bunch of replays on a bunch of these uh, rank matches. Bring you the rank match third awakening today. Uh, this first one's from Splash, and just check out just right away. Check out the Green Scarecrow. He is not like he used to be once he gets to the third awakening. It's it's pretty intense what he's able to do. He's he's out attacking everybody, even his regular attack. That that's his normal attack right there. That little hu hurricane attack, whatever the hell it's called. He's like seven thousand damage come third awakening. Uh, you you got to get his critical rate and critical rate damage up really high. You got to really work on the war patterns and, and work through. Uh, you might have you might even have to change his war patterns from when he was ha was that second awakening till now. But there is his main attack in the third awakening. It's called uh, Reaper Cometh. And it does like 20,000 damage if you have his war pattern set up right. It just took took down three big heroes at one time. And uh, that will be the fourth one right there. It's it's pretty intense. So the Green Scarecrow might be one of the top attackers in the game. Might. Because I haven't seen all the heroes yet. That I have a couple of what I would call obscure partners. That are all really good at the Third Awakening. In this battle here, Sp Splash mashed him up, hero for hero. Has uh, the God Earth as a leader. They both have the drum beater, and remember, drum beaters that they're not awakened at all yet. There's still a bunch of heroes that you can't awaken. Splash brings in his Scarecrow, and now the Scarecrows are still kind of squishy even after the third awakening. So that means their their hit points aren't real high. So you may have to make some adjustments to your team in order to keep them alive. Um, the drum beater is a great option because the drum beater is going to is going to put a shield on the lowest hit point person in the, in the team right there. He just put the the shield up on the green scarecrow. That's going to protect him. He just does that uh, tornado attack, whatever it's called. So, and uh, it's kind of exciting because a lot of what you're going to see in this video these are not five star heroes that are just stomping on everyone these are three stars that have been brought up and now once you're at the third awakening there goes three kills at once well that's the same attack the reaper the reaper cometh from the green scarecrow and this is board most by the way forgot to mention he gave me a bunch of replays to go through uh some great action so yeah, these are a lot of three and four star heroes that are once you get to the third awakening, you can really, really start competing with some of these real good players. So that's gonna change a lot because there's a lot of um, uh, free to play players that aren't able to spin as many gold turtles and aren't able to get the the God of Earth or the, the Nomads quite as much, and they can't compete up top. Now they can get to the third awakening with some of these other heroes that they've had the whole time, and they'll, they'll be able to compete. Now you're going to have to have specialized teams and you, you may have to change, I've mentioned earlier already, you, you may have to change uh, the war patterns. Uh, well, our guys took a lot of losses, so I had to kind of swallow the pride to, to, to bring out the videos, but uh, next one is from Cerberus. He is the, uh, the leader of one of our clans on 323 and uh, <laughs> get to see the Red Zero in action. I, if you watched last video, uh, we, we had Saint. That has one that has like 1700 uh, attack and that that's 1700 bonus uh, attack uh, and plus she has the Sylvan's blessing that makes her invincible it provides an attack and defense bus kind, kind of like um, the, the, the green demon the green demon killers earthquake where, where he does the attack and defense buff for his whole team so makes brings another three star up into uh, into an elite level really so if I was going into this match and everyone was at the second awakening, if I'm going up against uh, Zera and uh, a green double blade girl and a berserker and a red guitarist, 
and I've got a God of Earth, I've got the, the Catfish Fighter, uh, I've got the Scarecrow, I, I, I pretty much think I've got it. And he was basically manhandled by this team. So because of what's been going on, because of how much of an impact the Third Awakening is having to the ranked matches, I'm going to have some more uh, content coming out on, on, the, on the Elite ranked matches. I've got a bunch of guys that are, that are giving me videos. Uh, uh, the, the replay so I want to try to get uh, some more of the people that want to get involved in the videos and I want to try to uh, basically basically I want to cover some more of how to get them to the third level of awakening because it's not easy and what kind of teams to build and what kind of war patterns all that stuff uh, this next replay is from Boars another great player from uh, from, from the Phoenix Clan 323 um, he's actually if, if you've ever followed any tips on the channel before they're pretty much following Boars because he, he gives me all kinds of great tips that he's one of the veteran players I know there's a lot going on in the sides of the screen this is tons of information I'm trying to get in these videos but uh, the blue black shaman is it as another great example of on the third awakening he his ability he doesn't get a new ability but it changes it is the destructive flame which is which is probably his weakest attack of three attacks normally it's basically a single target where, where he, he'll stick that his staff out and attack the other the other team. Well, now if it's a critical rate attack, he will not just attack once. He can we've seen him attack up to five times. So that's another adjustment. You probably have to make an adjustment on his critical rate uh, on his war patterns and try to get his critical rate up as high as possible. Because every time he does a critical rate attack, you'll see even on his single target attacks, he'll, he gets a really big boost on it. Now, if you're a newer player, you'll notice that you you don't see the demon killer out front as the leader. So there's in, in this case, everyone has pretty much been using the same hero. It's just a, maybe coincidence, I don't know. Uh, but they've been using the the blue black shaman. He has speed for his leader skill. So remember, there's more than just attack percentage that you can get for your leader skills. There's critical rate. There's resistance. There's hit. You can you can use all of these different leader skills, and believe it or not, uh, attack percentage is probably the third from the least ex um, um, effective. I think probably the the shield or, or is probably the least effective, and defense might be another one. I'm not big fans of those, but a, a lot of people, especially when you're starting out, you, you you go for the partners that are that have the big attack percentage because it, it helps out the whole team with attack. But believe it or not, speed is much more important than attack. And if you can set your team up right, resistance and hit is even bigger than speed. My opinion, of course. <laughs> so let's get into what it takes to get some of these third awakenings. If you haven't investigated this yet, if you haven't gotten that far in the game yet, you, you take a seat because it's gonna it's gonna probably blow you away. Um, myself, I've got two heroes that are at the third third awakening. The hardest thing for me right now is to get the partners needed. You have to have specific partners for each one of your heroes that you're going to get to the third awakening. For the Colonel, she gets a pretty big boost. She gets a uh, plus 16 speed, plus five percent on defense for a third awakening. That's that's the benefit she has. It doesn't alter her abilities any, but she's already strong. And now you just add 16 to her speed, so she's going to get more attacks in overall and over the course of the entire match. And th then her defense gets up, so it's even harder to kill her. That's the that's the benefits. <laughs> the the bad then there's a bad part to all these third awakenings. That's what it costs. The cost is is it's really astronomical. We'll go over this. We have let me think one, two, three, four more replays. We're gonna get into some of the details as far as what it takes to get some of these real real popular heroes to the third level of awakening. So to start off with Blue Colonel, you need to have two blue blue marksmen, and as a five star, it's going to take 450. I believe it's 450 of the stone coins. You get the stone coins while you're doing the uh, the rally attacks, I believe. So 450 stone coins. Then it will take two of the blue marksmen at level zero. Then it'll take one five star partner, also at level zero. Then it'll take six four-star partners. All, all of them. So these have to be untouched. You have to just you get them and you save them, put them in your back pocket under your pillow. That hurts a little bit. Then it takes 18 of the common uh, Saya keeps keepsakes, and then 12 of the advanced. And the tw and the advanced ones, believe it or not, those aren't always easy to get. 
Because if you don't have enough, you, you only you can only buy two a month, or maybe four a month. I think you can buy them twice. You can buy two at a time. So, going back, we'll go, we'll go back and forth. The, here's the third awakening of the of the green boar. This is how easy he can put his foot in his mouth. I have probably talked bad. I mean, I might he, he might as well have been an ex girlfriend of mine. I've talked bad about him so many times. Uh, but basically, he just he has one ability where he beefs up his defense. Then he has one one attack where he does a, a push up attack where he attacks one person. So to me, it wasn't a super effective hero. Well, then with his third awakening, he gets his new ability. Uh, the new ability is called Hot Tempered, and it reduces his damage. Yay! But the big part of it is he has a 20% chance to retaliate when he's attacked. And this is not a specific skill that has a CD where you have to wait a certain amount of rounds to use it This is gonna be something that he has all the time. So this is this will be a, a giant change for him I, I'm not a hundred percent sure if there's a specific war pattern that you can improve the uh, the retaliation effect if uh, if the critical rate could maybe improve his retaliation effect or if a war pattern like uh, resistance or hit could help uh, I'm, I'm looking into that at not as we speak, but a little later. But if you watch the replay, it seemed like he was retaliating almost every time that he got hit, and unless he was knocked unconscious. Which this is also very reminiscent of the Red Nomad, which also has a retaliation skill. I believe his is at 40 or 50 percent, so he, he his is a little higher. But regardless, it, it completely changes the the, the uh, Green Boar because his attacks were, were strong. The problem with his attacks is it was only a single target attack, but now if he re if he's able to retaliate every time, or at least some of the time, that's just it just really changes the, his whole effectiveness. Uh, again, pretty expensive, 350 gold stone, uh, not gold, stone coins, two of the fierce beasts, three three stars, three four stars, and some of the common and some of the advanced uh, I believe there's I, don't, I think there are Sia keepsakes as well yeah he needs 12 Sia keepsakes advanced and 18 common so that's a lot of those too so you're not gonna be pumping out these third awakenings because just just in the keepsakes alone that they, they, they're gonna hold you up matter of fact I'm I'm held up on three different awakenings right now I'm right I've, I've actually collected all the heroes but I don't have enough the keepsakes and you just can't get them um, I'm waiting for more of the uh, rally matches to come through so here's here's a good look at the blue nomad probably everyone's favorite partner although it's hard to say who the best hero is these days because of there's so many changes with the third awakening but so far up until now blue nomad has definitely been the most sought after hero so at the third awakening for the blue nomad he gets a really big ability boost if, if it doesn't just hit you right in the face as soon as you see it he gets his attacks up eight percent which is fine speeds up plus one but the critical rate up 15 percent his damage is already so high as it is and when he does critical attacks they're devastating now it's going to be 15 percent more that it's going to happen 15 percent more often that's going to make the, the strongest hero even stronger his cost is is huge cost 450 stone coins one five-star hero eight four-star heroes yes that's eight four-star heroes at level zero and that's in addition to two red mar red marksmen 18 of the keepsakes that are uh, the Ian keepsakes common and 12 of Ian keepsakes keepsakes advanced as a tongue twister or oh, just can't talk <laughs> so expensive yes but well worth it the third awakenings is kind of what separates the the top tier of players from everyone else if you have level 40 heroes and you go up against level 40 that, that are at third awakening it's no comparison at all uh it's it it's kind of like having a five star against a four star it's really that much of a difference so we were talking about specialized teams a little more a little earlier and this is a good example the opponent here brings a green nomad in green nomad automatically gets the first attack um, we don't know what war pattern he had, but if he had Saya war pattern on the green nomad He gets the first strike and he could have taken the blue black shaman out and stunned him So he wouldn't get the first attack and that would have altered the entire 
uh, attack from then on out. That's not what happened. So by the time the Green Scarecrow comes in, he does he does his big attack and takes out half the team. Uh, the be between the Green Scarecrow and the Blue Shaman, the Blue Black Shaman, they're a they're a tough one two punch. Uh, between the Shaman's stun ability and he almost always has Sai on him, and then you have uh, the Scarecrow with that uh, Reaper cometh attack. It's such a big, it's such a huge attack. So I believe the last replay this is the green dragon man now on his third awakening he gets plus one speed plus five defense not a huge huge uh, benefit for him uh, you'll notice that some of the heroes that are already this stacked green dragon man already has a unique ability uh, he does the wild roar which gives a whole team speed you'll notice that they don't really get quite as good of, of that third awakening as the heroes that only have two abilities it's almost as if the Brutal Age development team had this in store for us the whole time. And so they have a bunch of these partners out that have two abilities that weren't all that great. No one was really using them. Then they come up with a third awakening and they're actually all the strongest. A little trick on everybody. Uh, I like the green boar, the green dragon man. He also needs the 12 side keepsakes advanced and the 18 uh, common. And he also uses the, the two fierce beast. So a bunch of replays, pretty long video. I want to say thanks to all the guys in the video, Splash, Boars, Bortmo, Cerebos. That's not even how you say that. <laughs> they went out and found all these, uh, found all these uh, replays for me. I want to thank all them. So, going to have more of these coming. I really like these, uh, these, these videos. Third Awakening and Ranked Matches. Get, your, get as many of your heroes to Third Awakening as possible. You see what they do. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody. Flow here.